I'm Andrew Milky Shore, and I'm going to show you how to wind a skein without a knitting knotty. You've probably seen folks wind a skein between their elbow and their thumb like this, and that's fine for a little sample skein. But if you've got four or five ounces of yarn that you want to skein up, there's a much better way. I don't see this demonstrated very often online, and I think it's a pity because it's such a useful technique. It eliminates the need for another tool. We always have our hand and our foot with us. And any yarn before you knit with it, before you crochet with it, needs to be finished. This can be done by washing it, by steaming it, simmering it, soaking it. Something that helps the crimp and the twist go to their natural state so you have a relaxed yarn. Having your yarn in a skein like this where all the water can come in contact with it at once is going to do a much better job of finishing your yarn. Uh, the exception might be sometimes with some weaving yarns, I would leave some of the finishing until it's actually in the cloth. But the rule of thumb for a hand spun is that your yarn is not done until it's finished. So there I have my skein, and I would secure it with a couple figure eight ties. I'll save that close up for another video. And what I end up with is something like this. Now I can soak that or simmer that to uh, activate the crimp and set the twist. When it's dry, I can store it by twisting in the same direction as the last twist that was put in the yarn. If it was singles, I'd be twisting it the way it was spun. This is applied yarn, I'm twisting it in the direction it was applied. Grasp that center, fold it in half, twist around each other, and I can tuck one end into the other. And there you have it, a skein yarn. Thank you for watching.